So I'm Dave Amos. I'm an assistant planner in the Department of City and Regional Planning here at Cal Poly. And the studio that I'm teaching, the studio that I taught this fall is uh, CRP 410 and 411. That's our capstone senior studio. So that's intended for students to bring all of their knowledge and experience to bear from their first three years and work for a real world client. In this case, the city of San Luis Obispo. So the city asked us to work on a missing middle housing study. So that meant that we were uh, intended to take a comprehensive look at how the city can um, accommodate housing um, from a duplex all the way up to a triplex, fourplex, and even uh, smaller apartment buildings that are in keeping with the context and character of San Luis Obispo's neighborhoods. I'm Michael Codron. I'm the Director of Community Development for the City of San Luis Obispo. And uh, I started out with the City of San Luis Obispo as an intern, uh, which was part of my requirements in the uh, Master in City and Regional Planning Program at Cal Poly. So between the first year and the second year of, that, of the graduate program, you're required to get practical experience. And uh, my practical experience was working for the city of San Luis Obispo, and I haven't left. Yeah, over the years, I've had a lot of opportunities to work with Cal Poly, with students in city and regional planning and their professors on professional projects. Most recently, worked with uh, Dave Amos and the CRP 411 team. It was a two-quarter. Uh, studio project and they help the city of San Luis Obispo with background research and recommendations for our new missing middle housing program. They have done a great job of looking across the country and across California at uh, examples of where missing middle housing has been uh, implemented and studied and uh, are really helping us uh, hit the ground running with our project. The students got to learn a little bit more about exactly how unaffordable housing is in San Luis Obispo and um, possible solutions to addressing those affordability issues. Students also uh, got to get uh, really into things like transportation, so how best could uh, they plan for transportation to accommodate perhaps more density in San Luis Obispo's neighborhoods? Because we've been asked by the city to look at how do we sort of add in some new housing units in San Luis Obispo's existing neighborhoods as opposed to building out, we're thinking about building more densely. So San Luis Obispo has a major housing affordability problem as do many cities in, in California. So it was great that the students got to work on a problem that was very um, uh, relevant to their lives. And many of them are from California and have sort of experienced housing and affordability firsthand. So thinking about the ways in which we can address it here in the San Luis Obispo, I think was really meaningful for the students. I look for opportunities all the time to engage with Cal Poly students, to uh, try to help them further their education and get that practical experience. Uh, learn by doing is obviously uh, alive and well in the city and regional planning department. Um, so there are many opportunities for that. As a professional working for the city of San Luis Obispo, San Luis Obispo is a little bit uh, geographically isolated as a city. And so having a great um, you know, university where uh, students are <clears throat> studying best practices in, in, with respect to city and regional planning and, and other topics, environmental uh, studies and, and uh, forestry and a whole range of things. Uh, we're able to often learn a lot from, from the students and the professors and the work that they're doing there to make sure that we're um, you know, making the, the best recommendations that we can to uh, our decision makers. Here in the Community Development Department for the City of San Luis Obispo, we have a lot of city and regional planning graduates, uh, graduates from the undergraduate program as well as the master's program, and uh, it's, it's a great conduit for uh, folks to find their first job. We offer internships for students, uh, formal internships that are paid as well as project-based ones where the benefit is uh, the experience that, that a student gains working with us on a project. And, We'll continue to do that, are open to that, and uh, look forward to meeting new students in the future as they come in and learn more about city and regional planning at Cal Poly. My favorite part about teaching the class is the students, obviously. Uh, the students are great. They were so much fun to work with. They surprised me. I'm a new faculty member and they surprised me with how competent they were and so many different skills. And they, they really, um, a lot of them not only had skills from class, but they had professional experience already from internships. So they came ready to go and we got started and we moved quickly, I think, through the class, in part because the students were so great. And throughout the, the course, even though we were on Zoom, uh, basically the entire time, it was really great getting to know them and see them grow and develop in the studio. Um, 
like I said, they had these skills and experiences coming in, but then they learned so much throughout the process, and I was, it was great to see them blossom. My favorite part of working with Cal Poly students is actually going on a campus and, and uh, hearing from them directly in that environment. Uh, you know, students, they bring so much uh, to the table in terms of uh, perspective from their learning and how they've applied it, you know, where they're coming from and how they hope to apply what they're learning in the future. And so I like going on to campus and engaging with students uh, in classrooms and look forward to being able to do that. Again, it's been, of course, all remote and all, all Zoom uh, lately, but I like to guest lecture, you know, whenever there's a, a, a topic that a professor at Cal Poly thinks that I can speak to, you know, I enjoy getting that invitation and we'll take the opportunity to, you know, meet with students and make those presentations and to answer their questions questions and uh, that's the best part of uh, working in a university town is having the school nearby uh, and being able to engage.